Hello, this is Sadie McLaughlin, and this is my portfolio presentation for spring 2022. Thank you all for coming and listening and joining in. To start off, I am from Cocoa Beach, Florida, and I began drawing and making art at a very young age, and then decided to attend the University of North Florida for track and field and cross country, and then somehow decided along the way that I wanted to be a painting, drawing, and printmaking major. This felt like a very natural decision for me, and I'm very glad that I chose it. I am projected to graduate this spring of 2022. A lot of my inspirations come from my personal life, um, my relationships, my emotions. I'm inspired by a lot of photography, nature, and traveling, and like I said, my own personal experiences. An artist that I pull a lot of inspiration from is Tracy Emin. She is a British, British artist based out of London where she resides and works today. She inspires me both conceptually and technically in the way that she uses the body she uses herself in her work and she is always contributing to conversations about transparency and the effects of trauma. As Tracy is an artist that I look towards a lot, this is an exhibition called A Fortnight of Fears that I, Fortnight of Tears that I wanted to mention um, at the White Cube. And this exhibition talks a lot about loss, mourning, insomnia, and spiritual love. Um, she uses herself as the major theme of the exhibition, and the themes of the exhibition directly reflect her own emotions the loss of her parents, her self respect the female experience, spiritualism, and sexuality. I originally looked towards Emin for her transparency and the way that she's able to translate her personal life into these public spaces while also contributing to larger conversations. But recently, and especially with this exhibition, I really admire the way that Emin takes control of her own narrative self-image and the way that she unpacks her experiences in her work. Um, this exhibition, Fortnight of Tears, these are a couple more photos from it, are a direct reflection of her ability to cross disciplines, and that means a lot to me as I'm an artist who I don't really feel confined by one medium. Uh, she works in a variety of mediums, including sculpture, painting, photography, installation, film, and neon text, and just in this exhibition alone she uses all of those. Um, so part of my process is um, I am an oil painter and I typically um, paint on stretch canvas with oil paints um, and I'll occasionally use additional alternative substrates if my content may call for but originally like I said I don't feel confined by one medium or one discipline but oil painting is that comfort medium for me that I can always go back to and I really appreciate and with painting, I feel like I can incorporate a lot of my other experience with other materials into this. Like, I get a lot of my inspiration from photos that I take. I was a photo miner for a lot of my college career, but um, I did drop it for personal reasons. But I do like to translate my photos into paintings. A lot of the themes that I work with are the body and the figure, um, identity, specifically my own, <clears throat> childhood, nostalgia, and memories, along with mental health, anxiety as, as affect, and the time codes of trauma. These are some of my previous works. The middle is an oil painting. Um, the two on the sides are multiple intaglio plate prints. Um, the pieces all have the common theme of identity and self-disembodiment. I made these during a time where I had difficulties grounding myself or being able to identify myself through my art, but also outside of my art. I think these topics are still really important to me today and influence the work that I still make. These are a few pieces that fit into my theme of nostalgia, childhood, and traveling. I like to connect these three together. I feel that um, I really like to recreate moments or memories that feel familiar or comforting to me, but maybe I can't pinpoint exactly when or where I experienced them. Um, another theme that may show up sometimes in my work is like slight biblical references. I did grow up um, as a Christian, but as I get older, I 
begin questioning and critiquing the church and the agenda of the church itself, um, but hoping not to lose my own hope in a higher power. But this has a huge effect on me and the way that I process my own emotions and experiences, so that can um, slightly influence my work as well. This is a self-portraiture. This is one of the first times I really started to utilize myself in my work and um, working towards that transparency with my audience. This is part of a series that I never got to complete due to a um, injury, but I do think that this picture and this process that I went through to take this picture influences the work that I started to make this year. This is a digital photo series I did. Um, this is very influential on the project that I'm starting right now. Um, and we will talk about this concept in my paintings. So the current project that I'm working on right now is a series of large scale figurative oil paintings. And in this project, I'm speaking directly about anxiety as affect and the time codes of trauma. I am painting an abstract ephemeral emotion and I'm allowing myself to pass through this and I'm allowing this emotion to pass through in my painting. I'm using the photos that I just showed as my references for these paintings. And it's interesting because um, with this project, I've watched my concept exist within multiple mediums, which to me is parallel to this concept, living different lives. It unravels differently in each medium. And so I started out by taking the photos, which is a digital medium, yet a very physical process of me submerging myself underwater and I allowed this action to exist in time and then later I printed these photos which confines these moments to a size, space, dimension, um, perspective and then which is still a direct reflection of the events but now I'm painting the photos using them as my reference and the medium of paint allows me to take this moment the moment that exists in the photo and stretch it out. This process is how I unpack emotion, recreate it, and I build resilience against it. And these are self-portraits. Thank you for listening.